Good morning, YouTube. We're back at the Howard, checking out some cool cars, and one of them has an issue. Let me see if you can guess which one. Yeah, yeah, Lamborghini Murcielago. Of course it does. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan, and like I said, we are at the Howard, which is our warehouse where we store some of our cars, and well, unfortunately, the Murcielago has a check engine light. What are the odds? To make it more interesting, Hoovy is actually coming into town. He's picking up his 599 from EAG. They did some adjustments to it. it. Should be all set. So he actually wanted to come over, check out the Mercy Lago and see it. I think he misses it. <laughs> Maybe he wants to get in one last drive. I don't think he was able to do that since we kind of had to steal it from his garage. So yeah, we'll see Hoovy in a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him shit about the check engine light because <laughs> you know, that's what you do. Quite a good collection of cars going on right now. We've got the 48 that's got the exhaust and tune on it. We got a bunch of carbon fire parts for it. Got the GT4 F430 right behind me is Richard's Testarossa 458 and of course the Murcielago. So we've got some great cars. It just looks good in here. I sent a message to Josh from Exotic Power and Performance and he gave me a couple tips of what he thinks it is. It sounds like it's actually not a big deal at all so we'll take a look but yeah we'll see if maybe we can get it fixed or at least figure out what's the cause of it yeah it's got a little a little wiggle wiggle <laughs> that's not this is not the gate you're looking for <laughs> you know so just, just a little wiggle uh why don't we put if you guys are gonna do a video we should put a metal on it i know i know that's why so uh, it'll, take, it'll take three seconds to pull one off. <laughs> well you don't have you don't have the new metal ones yet right no, the new metal ones are coming in two weeks, but yeah. so the metal one he has is not allowing it to ship properly. Is that right? right. Well, uh, yeah, they, they, it's we, harder we to get in reverse. 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 It was an overfront. Uh, over uh, it's not a big deal. Right. That's hey. okay. It's kind of funny. The wiggle's great. You can just call it the final prototype. Yeah. Final right. prototype. Yeah. It's just. Give me a second. You can say pro prototypo. <laughs> prototypo. It's a special edition. It's the special edition prototypo. <laughs> Jeez. Oh man. Well, as long as we're showing dumb shit. Hoovy's here. Hello! I'm back. He's obviously got his 599. And yes. 99.9% .9 done. Yes, you you rat thief think think thief you. Thief, I can't say it. There oh it yeah. Is. Rat and thief. And that thing. You stole it. Out of the garage. Because I did. was canceled flight out of Barrett Jackson. So <laughs> I'm glad nobody came and shot you. I legit would not have done this if it had been in Texas. Mm. I, I seriously was like, there's no way in hell I would do this in Texas. I'm yep. not going into someone else's garage without them being there. No, my neighbors are used to it with me. So. You have other people breaking into your garage regularly? Oh, okay. Well, then, <laughs> then I don't feel so bad. Yep. Okay. Well, there you have it. What do you think? I love this thing. <laughs> it's, it's so stupid. It's your great. new hot boy thing? Is this your, uh, uh, yeah? <laughs> Dan the hot boy. I, there you was, go. Yeah. This was just pointed out. This is too cool for me. Oh, Dan. It's true. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to dispute it, but I do sympathize. Yeah, sorry. Oh, well. <laughs> it's too cool for me. So. <laughs> it's cool. Josh is cool in it. Yeah. I like it. I, I told Dan I hate this car, but then I drove it over here and I was like, it's so bad that it's good. Exactly. <laughs> That's, That's the best exactly way to put it. it. <laughs> yeah, it's so atrocious that you just enjoy it. Well, we talk about it. For, for its era, it it is pretty uh, an amazing experience yeah. for sure it's and you can look back on this early automated manual stuff and then that naturally has pretty, it's, it's amazing sound I mean, oh the well. engine is what, what, unbelievable is this is ferrari had this uh, the scud wasn't even out in 06 no it's 430 yeah. it was a 430 so 430 I mean, this yeah. is way cool with your 430 yeah <laughs> oh yeah no the, the cool factor is off the charts the sound is just yeah intoxicating i mean yeah. the engine is that close to your head mm -hmm. so you just you hear every bit of engine noise exhaust noise everything it just it's just oh. and with the kevlar clutch it's it's not bad no, i would no. say shifting wise is probably in the quality and how it feels somewhere between a 360 and a 430 yes. somewhere slotted in between there and good because yep. 360 is pretty bad 430 is great as far as yeah. f1's got yeah, it's and definitely not as good as a 430 but yep. it's definitely a step up from the 360. Mm -hmm. it does a weird uh pulsation every once in a while which is kind of, reverse is funny. Cause oh like, yeah. Reverse yeah. is. <laughs> you just got to send it in reverse. Yes. yes. Well, and the trick is if you're doing reverse, you just yep. sit up and turn your head backwards and just look yep. over. You just, you just line it up and just go. It. Well, my problem driving this car is my head is like right about here. Yeah. 
and so you're just looking around the bar. It's almost better if I just put a phone book in there and I just look over the windshield. <laughs> there you go. You know? Yeah, or you, can, you do a DVD and just... <laughs> yeah. Yep. You can't see anything behind you because this sits up high enough that it blocks the rear view mirror. Yep. And then the side view mirror is all you see is the ass. Yeah. So, I mean... Because the rear end of the Roadster is completely redesigned differently than, than the coupes. Yeah. But then they didn't think, oh, well, you can't see out the back anymore. You know, they just whatever. <laughs> I didn't I, think about a lot of things. No, 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 no. no, no. They just, they're like, hey, it looks good. Send you it. <laughs> well, we have a we have a, a thing we're going to fix in a minute here. Uh, oh, yes. That, mm -hmm. which, by the way, a bunch of people have pointed out yes. that this is a, an Audi piece, apparently. Really? So they said it's out of an Audi, like, A4. Or A6, something? I think. A6, that's yeah. it. And I, I didn't show you the mood lighting. No, you didn't. Inside here. You have a secret mood oh, lighting? Oh, you know, it's, it's, it's a Lamborghini, so you gotta, yeah, you, you know. Push on, yeah. It's a two-parter. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Flip the switch. And inside of the bat wings oh. is some orange glow in there. Oh, very, very visible at night. Yeah. <laughs> I need to do that. If you need more attention. <laughs> more than it already has. Oh, so that's what that switch was. I had no idea. Nice. But I do have a present. Oh. What do we got here? Oh. <gasps> and dirty underwear. Oh. Well, actually, that's clean. But this is what I have for you. Nice. It is a hole, oh. a vent hole. Now it's just a gaping hole in the dash as I break oh. this one. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I'm curious. Is the first number got, or is it kind of common, the price for that? Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> It was, it was, it's definitely three digits. It was under 200, I know that. Oh, so. okay. That's actually... Do you want to pull them? Do you? Uh, I think I already loosened it. You want to give it a go? Oh. Yeah. You did. I loosened it. But yeah, there's some, some fine quality craftsmanship there. What, what, and what's this just jiggling loose in here? And it says speak. I've never figured out what, did you know what that does? I don't know, but I see it here. I don't oh, know. There's like a box. There's a box just, yeah, rattling loosen all the dash wires there. I'm sure that's good for it. What the hell? Look at the plugs. Anyway, we'll make that go away right now, yeah, won't yeah. we? Huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was Hey, who wants a sticky. free Lamborghini part? Busted. So you gotta line it up in the... Okay, this is this is out of my bag right here. <laughs> there you go. To take over for me. Yeah, I don't know which... Uh, hold on, I gotta put that on the camera. All right, YouTube. Back from farting around with Hoovy. Uh, I need to get this air vent installed. So he graciously gave us this air vent, which he had already bought for it. So I suppose it probably didn't do him much good to keep it. Uh, it's got this little weird thing that actually is a separate piece. Uh, and we need this to connect to that little hose, you can see. And... So I need two hands, it's kind of a pain in the butt. All right, so I think what I can do, so you want it to be aligned. Hmm, no, I guess that way? Well, here, let's pull, so this guy, pull out as far as we can reasonably and get that to attach. Oh yeah, much better. Oh, there, that worked. A little bit better. There. Ah. How about that? I have a vent. Ah. There. Much better. Much better looking than a giant hole. We need to figure out what's going on with the uh, misfire. So it's a random misfire. Uh, these cars are known to kind of eat up spark plugs. So we think that's what it is. We think it's a spark plug. So let's get some on order. See if we can't get that fixed. Not looking forward to doing spark plugs on this engine. It looks like it's buried in there. So, uh, yeah, spark plugs. Um, we'll try that first, because that's the cheapest thing. Josh uh, from Exotic Power and Performance said we can take the uh, the misfire sensor, the knock sensor, whatever, and swap it left, right, and see if it switches from the ref right bank to the left bank. So another thing we can do is swap around a couple of ignition coils and see if the so um, it transfers over because it's not a consistent misfire. So it's, you know, it's random. You don't hear it all the time. You hear it once in a while. It's pretty minor, um, but obviously it's enough to trigger the, the light. So we want to figure out what that is before one of you gets this car. So we'll get that situated. So in case you're wondering, which I'm sure none of you were, uh, got some exhaust components, got the headers for the Mustang GT500. So we're gonna do that pretty soon. 
Uh, I got a few other stuff coming on. And of course, we're gonna be closing on our new property for the dealership very soon. So stay tuned, there's gonna be a lot of stuff happening in a very short period of time. So like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. It's gonna be sweet. Mm -hmm.